Many people plant beautiful flowers in their garden for butterflies and attracting them, but we often forget as gardeners those plants that provide food to the larval stage of those butterflies. And we're here and there's this native milkweed that we have and you can actually see a couple of these monarch butterfly larvae that are feeding here on this foliage. This native milkweed is an excellent source of nutrition for those monarch butterflies which is actually their host plant. Now there is also in addition to the native milkweed we have the tropical milkweed and look who I have here it's, it's <laughs> Mr. Dan Gill. Hey Heather. Tell me about which what is this tropical milkweed? Well, the milkweed that's been most readily available that we've planted for decades is this tropical or Mexican milkweed. It grows vigorously, it blooms heavily, it's great larval food, but it grows year round here. And as a result, it's suspected to be a host of a disease called OE okay. that infects monarch butterflies and causes a decrease in the population. So plant the native milkweeds preferably, but if you're gonna plant the tropical milkweed, cut it back hard in June, then cut it back again hard in October, it'll sprout back. But that gets rid of the, the leaves that might have that disease on it. But ideally plant the native milkweeds, that's your first preference, because they aren't gonna have the problems that the tropical milkweed has with that OE disease. Excellent information. For Get It Growing, I'm Heather Kirk Ballard with horticulturist Dan Gill for the LSU Ag Center.